at UFC 162 in the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, Anderson Silva may very well be facing the toughest test of his career. This is a fight between the greatest of all time, Anderson Silva, against Chris Weidman, a guy who has the style and the skills to go out there and actually beat him. I think I'm a nightmare matchup for him stylistically. I have better wrestling and I have better jiu-jitsu. I'm young, I'm hungry. São todos os atletas que lutam no UFC são todos bem preparados, tanto em pé quanto no chão. Então, a luta é luta e a gente só vai saber realmente como vai ser a luta no, no dia da luta. Chris Weidman is everything that you would look for to challenge Anderson Silva. I'm a pressure-based fighter. I'm going to be in his face. I'm going to be using my length and my athleticism and mixing up between my takedowns and my punches. He has that championship mind and heart. He has an intensity about him. And it's one of the reasons so many fans and so many MMA experts are very excited about this fight. Chris is a machine. And if there is one guy in the middleweight division that can beat Anderson Silva, he's the man. The people in the know know how good Chris Weidman is. The general public may not know him as well as they should, but they will. Weidman far and away can beat Anderson. I will fight anybody at any time. But every time my phone rang, I would think, geez, I hope they're not going to tell me I got Chris Weidman. Although Chris Weidman only has nine fights, he is undefeated, and he's been competing in wrestling his whole life. That is a lot of one-on-one -on -one competition. We've seen so many wrestlers come in here and do well because of that reason. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. But the man that he is taking on is the single greatest martial artist that the world has ever known. There has never been a fighter that has been so devastating against such high-level competition. Anderson Silva moves like a man in a video game. He performs inside the octagon like a hero in a movie. It's easy to see that Anderson Silva is a special fighter. Many consider him to be the greatest of all time. He just finds a way to win, and he does it in dramatic fashion, even when he is in a lot of trouble. And that's what makes Anderson Silva more than elite. Você tem que ter a confiança de que você vai vencer. Senão, não vale a pena você estar fazendo, se preparando quatro, cinco meses para uma luta. Anderson Silva is primarily a striker. He is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well, but he prefers to strike. His striking, his timing, his ability to control the distance is second to none. Anderson Silva has that knack to pull out a knockout, to pull a submission at any point in the fight. He's just so creative out there when he fights. He's so loose, he's so relaxed. He's been doing this so long that he truly is in his element when he's fighting in the octagon. The only vulnerabilities he's ever shown in his career are to grapplers. I'm training. I'm strong. There's nothing specific that I think is better than him or not. I think what will determine who will win the fight is how much each one has trained and the right time to apply what he trained. Styles make fights, and Chris Weidman has a style that can really pose a lot of problems for Anderson Silva. Nobody wants to stand up and just strike with Anderson Silva. But Chris Weidman is confident enough and dangerous enough as a striker to set up his takedowns as good as anybody out there. When he's thinking about the takedown, he punched some guy in the face, they're going to feel it. So he's going to have to worry about my takedowns, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to start aiming some punches at his face and kicks at his face or his stomach. His wrestling is right up there with George St. Pierre, right up there with Chael Sonnen. And we saw what Chael did to Anderson Silva. That is the closest that anyone has ever come to defeating the pound for pound best fighter in the world. I think Chris Weidman is better than Chael Sonnen. I think he's far more dangerous than Chael Sonnen. Chris Weidman has a ground game that could definitely take out Anderson Silva in this fight. Oh, just tagged him. Anderson, he definitely has his hands full facing Weidman. Anderson always finds a way to get it done, finds a way to get past that obstacle. But I don't know. Chris Weinman, in my opinion, is the toughest opponent for Anderson now. The kid has a lot of talent. Maybe he can control the fight if the fight goes to the ground. But I believe if the fight is still in standing, Anderson will knock him out. Man, he got rocked! I'm not a bobeira in this sport, I didn't get to the end of the day. And I think he's getting the opportunity, and that's what matters. These titles, like greatest of all time, 
you know, he's earned that, and I have a lot of respect for that, but I'm not fighting the myth, I'm not fighting this aura or this mystique, I'm fighting a man who I think I could beat. Cada um vai mostrar aquilo que tem de melhor no dia da luta. Ele vai usar as armas que ele tem e eu vou usar as armas que eu tenho para tentar vencê-lo. Edgar is amongst the pound for pound best fighters on the planet. I think his cardio is second to none, his pace is second to none, his heart and will are unquestionable. Edgar putting on a show! Outstanding! Wow! I think he also has one of the best chins that I've ever seen inside the octagon, and one of the best abilities to recover I've ever seen inside the octagon. Unbelievable! He's just a tremendous, tremendous fighter. Frankie Edgar! Wow! I was trying to push the pace and fight my fight, and a lot of it has to do with stand-up, so that's something I'm gonna utilize in this fight. Beautiful combination by Frankie. You know, he's a tall guy, I'm gonna be a shorter guy. He's a little skinny, but I don't you know, compared to some of the other guys I fought at 55, whether tall and big, you know, but uh, I'm down with the David and Goliath, you know. David won, so I'm down, I'm down with being David. Oh, I think it's actually, this is a blessing in disguise, I feel like, you know, coming back to a three-round fight. It's gonna make me get out the gun early and, and make sure, I, you know, first round, I'm. I'm in his face, and I'm, I'm in the rhythm that I like to be in the fourth and fifth, because, you know, when I get back to the title fights, I want to be able to do that right away in the first round, so last all the way to the fifth. Frankie has gone through two incredibly close decisions that he could have very easily won. The decision loss to Benson Henderson and the decision loss to Jose Aldo. Those were two title fights that a lot of people thought Frankie Edgar won. It's definitely frustrating. I prepare a lot. I'm not disappointed in my performances. You know, I think showing up for and being able to do what you did during camp is very important. I felt I did that in all the last three of my fights, but it just didn't have to go my way. It's almost like, you know, being a wrestling tour and taking second. But they were close, you know, and uh, you know, I lost, but I, I didn't get dominated, I didn't get stopped. He has an opportunity in facing top featherweight contender Charles Oliveira to get right back into the hunt as one of the top guys in one of the most talent-rich divisions inside the octagon. This victory just gets me back to the winning side of things. It'll be nice to get a clear-cut win and work my way back towards the title shot. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, fighting out of Houston, Texas, USA! When Charles Oliveira first burst onto the scene, he was thought to be one of the most talented guys in both the lightweight and now the featherweight division. It looks pretty tight here, Charlie. And here's the tag, Charles Oliveira, yet another finish in the UFC. He's tough, he's dangerous. You know, very tall for a 45-pounder. Probably the tallest guy I, I may have ever fought. You know, he's got pretty good Muay Thai. You know, mixes it up well, kicks, knees, elbows. He's got a very slick submission game. You know, he's willing to go for broke to go for submissions. The fact that he's all his wins are submission uh, would support that, but uh, he's got good stand-up, too. Oh, my goodness! Charles Oliveira has a very technical striking game, and he's tremendously talented with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His ground game is absolutely outstanding. He's got it deep. It is But he is going to have to be at the top of his game to defeat former lightweight champion Frankie Edgar. 100% I'm going to win this time. Um, not going home disappointed. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters. Got a 